let's get ready to learn. Grab an adult and get ready for some fun. Hi, I'm Yvonne with the Science Museum of Minnesota, and today we're going to do a milk experiment with a real live dairy princess. But before we get started, if you would like to conduct the experiment at home along with us, pause the video and grab your materials. And don't forget to ask an adult to join you. Remember, science is a team sport. Ask an adult to help you find a half cup of whole milk, food coloring, red, yellow, and blue, cotton swabs, dish soap, and a plate. Since we are doing a milk experiment today, I invited real dairy royalty to join us. Since 1955, Minnesota has crowned a Princess Kate of the Milky Way who serves as a dairy ambassador for Minnesota's dairy community. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you the 67th Princess K of the Milky Way, Brenna Conley. Hi, thank you for having me here today. Welcome. Brenna, before we get started, I have something to show you. Uh, I was a Princess K finalist in 2009. That's awesome. Being a part of the Princess K program is amazing. It truly is an honor to be a Goodwill ambassador for Minnesota's 2,800 dairy farm families. Sounds like a dream come true. Should we start the experiment? Uh, sure, right. Everyone grab your half cup of whole milk and your plate. Brenna, I'll have you pour your half cup whole milk onto the plate. Brenna, can you tell us what makes up milk? Yes, milk is made up of water and a wide variety of nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, fat, and protein. All of these are important in keeping our bodies healthy. And those fats are gonna play an important role in this experiment. Next, we're gonna take a few drops of our food coloring. Our red, yellow, and blue. And try to keep these in the center of the plate. Brenna, do you know what will happen when we take our Q-tip and dip it into the center of the plate? I don't know. It is always okay to say that you don't know. That is why we experiment, to find out what we don't know. All right, Brenna, let's try it. Let's find out. Hmm, well, not a lot is happening. There's a small burst of color, but in science, we never stop asking questions. So I wonder what will happen if we take our Q-tip, dip it into the dish soap, and place it back to the center of the plate. Let's find out. Hold it there for about 10 seconds. <gasps> wow. That's as cool as a butterhead. Do your viewers know what a butterhead is? Good point. Butterheads are a long tradition at the state fair. Each Princess K and finalist has their likeness carved out of 90 pounds of butter. It's an iconic tradition in Minnesota. Yvonne, can you explain the science behind what is happening while I try the experiment again? What? Right, science. <laughs> there are fats and proteins in milk. Fats and proteins are sensitive to changes in milk, and the fats play an important role in our experiment. Fat actually has an important role in our body too. For example, it's the fat in milk and in other foods that works as a special transporter to deliver other nutrients in our body to use. But why do we get that cool bursting of color? Great question. The bursting colors are thanks to the chemistry of that tiny drop of soap. The soap breaks the surface tension, or skin, of the milk, allowing the molecules of fat to move in all directions as the soap molecules race around to join the fat molecules. When the fat from the milk bonds with the dish soap, it pushes all of the water in the milk to the outside, while the food coloring provides an easy way to observe all the invisible molecular activity. As the soap becomes evenly mixed with the milk, the action slows down and eventually stops. And there you have it, two of my favorite things, science and milk. Thank you for joining us, Brenna. But before you go, I have something I wanna show you. What is that? The rest of my butterhead. Do you carry that with you everywhere you go? Yeah. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Princess humor. But before you go at home, 
Here's a question. Since fats play an important role in this experiment, I wonder what would happen if you used 2% milk or skim milk. Would you get a different reaction? Ask an adult to help you try it at home. We hope you have fun learning at home, and we hope you'll come learn with us here at the Science Museum of Minnesota.